not like that. The fear is getting to you. 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 I told you you're going to feel some fear, right? Then I tell you that? Then I tell you you're going to feel some fear you ain't felt? Thank you. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and enjoy the show. What's up, fight fans? Welcome to my channel. This is Johnny, and today we're going to be breaking down the strength of schedule of Devin Haney. He's been in the news a lot lately thanks to his upcoming fight this April 20th against Ryan Garcia, and they have been going back and forth on social media. If you guys follow our Facebook group, Boxing News Today, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's getting ugly. They're sharing photos of each other's exes. They're sharing sparring, leaked footage. So today I wanted to take a closer look at one half of that duo, Devin. Specifically his last 10 fights, what we're going to do is analyze his resume, talk about his opponents, and we're going to come up with a statistic we call strength of schedule. What we're going to do is add up all of his opponents' win-loss records and tally those and get his strength of schedule. Before we do this, we want to talk about the reasoning for this. What this does is allow us to see not only who Devin has been fighting, but how he's been being paired up with his whole career. Some of the facts about Devin that we do know, he's 31 and 0, 15 knockouts. He's an American Orthodox fighter. His fans call him the dream. He's only 25 years old. He seems like he's been around a lot longer. Five foot eight, 71 inch reach. And he is the WBA, WBC, WBO, super lightweight world champion. And that title will be on the line this April against Garcia. Something I want to talk about in terms of these statistics that often get overlooked when people mention Devin's name is when these fighters come in and fight Devin, those are the records that we're adding up, the records on fight night. For instance, when he fought Abdullayev, Abdullayev was 11-0 when they fought. After he got knocked out, he was then 11-1. So you guys know how the stats work. We're going to trace it all the way back to the Moran fight. And we're going to finish with the Regis Prograde fight. When he fought Moran, Moran had a record of 24-3. and He got knocked out in the 7th. Abdullayev had a record of 11-0. He got knocked out in the 4th. Santiago, 12-0. UD, 12th. Gamboa, 30-3. UD, 12th. Linares, 47-5. UD, 12th. Diaz, 32-1. UD, 12th. George Cambos is the first fight, 20-0. UD, 12th. George Cambos is rematch, 20-1. UD 12. Loma, 17 and 2. UD 12. And Regis Progre was 29 and 1. And he also lost by unanimous decision in the 12th. Over the last 10, Devin is 10 and 0. He's beaten three undefeated fighters and he has two knockouts. If you add all of those wins up, it comes to 242. With all the losses, it's 16, which gives Devin Haney a strength of schedule with 94%. Another statistic that I should mention are the UDs. These aren't split decisions. These aren't majority decisions. A lot of these fights aren't even close. When you win a UD, that means that every single judge gave you the fight. The one fight that has been the most controversial in Devin's career was two fights ago against Vasily Lomachenko. In that fight, I would like to take a little bit of time right now to open it up a little bit and dissect the ins and outs of that fight. So here we go. I think Loma better start trying to throw some body shots as well. Yeah. He's only landed four. That two so the Lomachenko fight, guys, took place on May 20th, 2023. There's a lot of vitriol behind this fight on both sides, and I think it's going to end in a finish or a knockout. Like I always do on my channel, I'm not going to give you my prediction, but I'm going to ask you for yours. Who's winning this fight and how? Devin Haney or Ryan Garcia? Let me know in the comment section below. Shit. I'm going to quit 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 shit. I'm going to qu